because it, it's the most impoverished people in our community that the realtors and the banks are taking advantage of. If you're on housing, you're told not to fight back. You're told if, the, if you get a notice on your door saying that your house is going to auction on the 10th, and the property owner and the management company tells you to pay the full month's rent, even though you know you can't come up with money after the 10th to get to the bank, housing tells you to do it. You don't do anything to violate your housing or you're going to lose it. Um, they, they say you have 90 days. Realtors, the realtors are going in front of the city council members right now. And what they're telling them is, these people have 90 days to get out. They have 90 days without paying rent. They're not paying any rent. They have time to save their money. That's not what's happening. The realtors come in the day after at auctions and they start posting notices on your door and they start threatening you. Um, they start telling you, if you don't sign this and say you can be out within 30 days, we're not going to give you keys for cash. And you say, my, me personally, my daughter had just had a, a, a surgery um, and we were trying to let her recover. And we said, um, well, and I have this in emails, I, I can prove this to the city council. Um, I said, can you let us pay rent? Just let us pay rent uh, for 30 days so that we can, because the piece of paper that you signed says if you're not out on this day, that, that you promised that you're going to be able to sign this with them, whether that's 15 days from now or 20 days from now from the minute you sign it, you forfeit your right to anything. They tell you, we're not responsible for giving you a deposit. The, uh, the rental management company says, we're not responsible for giving you a deposit. It went through foreclosure. We're no longer bound by the law. Um, so you sign this paper, and if you don't, then you're not going to have anything. We're going to continue to make rent, and you're going to be you, you're going to make you pay your rent, and you're going to be out on the street because you don't have a deposit. So what are you going to do? Do you want your family to be homeless, or do you want to take what we're offering you, and do you want to get out in this 28 days that we're allotting you? Then they make you pay taxes on the money that they gave you that they stole from you, which was your deposit in the first place. Which, if you are on any kind of Medi-Cal or Medicaid, if you're an elderly person. Um, it hurts you financially. You're claiming that it passes at the end of the year, and they're saying, you made too much money. You know, you made, where did you get this money from? I lost my Medi-Cal and my food stamps. For, because for I received family. a cash for keys offer that was actually under uh, the amount that I had down on the deposit, and then now I'm still stuck with paying the taxes on that money. One of the most disturbing parts about this is as renters, we make up 60% of the population of Merced. Up until this year, you could not put political signs on your front yard that said who you would like to vote for. Because even though you were paying to rent that property, you didn't have the right to say who you believed you should vote for. In this election, only 20,000 people voted out of a population of almost 80,000. These city council members that were voted in, that automatically got on the council and voted to repeal this because they're in the pockets of the realtors, um, they only got voted in 20,000 people for the, and, and they're the ones that are kowtowing to the realtors at this point to try to get this overturned. Realtors are trying to tell people that this is a property ownership, that this are going to affect property values and property ownership. This ordinance does nothing to affect property ownership. It only takes effect when the banks take over a property. When the banks take over a property, they immediately want the people out because their money's However their money's tied up, they can't collect it until everybody's out. Um, we've, had, we've had people come in and offer to buy homes. Um, four people. We had an elderly gentleman and his wife who was totally ill. He had a friend that, that went in and said, I'll buy this home. He's come to me. I have the money. I'll buy it. We won't sell it to you until they're out. They have to be out before we can sell it to you. Um, it's just ridiculous. We've seen... We've seen... Um, a gentleman who was taking care of his elderly mother who was terminally ill, um, panic and leave, and have to subject his mother to the indignity of being in the living room of the house where when everybody walked into the house, they could see her in her medical bed because the only place they could find, you couldn't get the medical bed down the hallways <coughs> so that, that she could be, so that she could have that privacy. In her last dying days, this is, and they're telling you, if you're in a wheelchair, if you have any type of problems like that, 30 days is enough for you to find some place. There's all these empty houses. Just get the hell out and go find some place to live. What's your problem? Why are you being a crybaby? Um, you form what you're doing here today. We form communities. We form support groups. I, 
in my, in my neighborhood, my son was in band. I took half the kids in my neighborhood to band because their parents were working mothers. They lost that when I moved. They are attacking our communities. They are leaving light in our neighborhoods. And the realtors are standing up there saying, this isn't going to be needed. This recession is going to be over. There's no need for this. There is a need for this. This is not going to be over. And you know what? If it is over in six months, then this ordinance is going to be, it's not going to make a difference either way anyways. Because there aren't going to be any more foreclosures, are there? So what's their problem with it? Their problem with it is our set is burning down and they're making money on selling the water to put up the fire. And, and we need to put a stop to it. So thank you. That's what I wanted to do.